And while you may have seen a video on social media of an incident at East Bakersfield High School, which shows a member of the current high school district security staff kneeling on a student. Due to that, several people are calling for an investigation into the incident and for how those security guards are trained. 23 ABC's Taylor Levesque joins us live from the Kern High School District with more on what led to this incident and what community members are demanding of the district. An incident involving a student and East Bakersfield High School security guards caught the attention of many Kern County community members and those on social media who says the treatment of kids in schools is unacceptable. We're not even doing nothing! Video taken by students on February 9th at East Bakersfield High School shows two security guards restraining a student. One is seen here holding the student down with his knees. We have a very hurt mother and child and this, she's not the first and will not be the last until we get this problem taken care of as parents and as a community that has unity. Exenia King is the president of Mothers Against Gang Violence and is standing with Tiffany Arterberry, the mother of the student who declined to speak. Arterberry's son is Maurice Hill, and while she did not want to go into detail about what led up to the incident, community advocate Nadine Escalante said there was an escalating incident where mace was eventually used. There was an issue between um, the student and the officer, the student tried to leave. 23 ABC reached out to the Kern High School District about the incident and in a statement said, quote, the Kern High School District is aware of videos circulating on social media from an incident that took place on the campus of East Bakersfield High School on February 9th. The incident is being reviewed and investigated. Escalante says the Kern High School District has both police officers and campus security who says do not undergo the same training. He's free! The security staff, and that's what was in this video, security staff, they have the yellow shirts. Those individuals go by a, a different standard of training and hiring practices, and that is what we are concerned about because they are not held to post standards like Kern High School District Police are. Um, the security staff are held to different standards. There's a lack of training in their department. King says they want a thorough investigation into what happened and the staff involved to take responsibility. We also would like for not just not just the campus guards to take accountability, but the principals, yes. you know, the principal, yes. the, the office, the entire yes. office, everybody that's a part of the school system to take accountability because they are part of educating and protecting our kids, that everyone take accountability for the things that's happening in these schools. The Mothers Against Gang Violence don't want the same thing to happen to any other student and are urging parents to get involved with their child's school district by asking questions and learning more about the policies and procedures of campus security and officers. Live in Southwest Bakersfield, Taylor Levesque, 23 ABC, connecting you.